Well, we felt there was a, a need for a film. Um, books are OK, but there's only so much you can learn from a book. Nice behaviour there. Come, come. He's looking come, come. like a very come, come. solid sort come, come. of puppy. And we brought them down as a group. These are the four puppies that we're training and you're watching throughout the whole sequence of the film. This is just going to be a game. Not something we do a huge amount of because we don't want them jumping all the time with their soft tissue, their cartilage. All can be damaged all too easily. Stay. Stay. Heal. Boy. Good boy. Oh, come on in! <laughs> Stay. Stay. Back. <laughs> come on in, look at you. Stay. Come on, come on, come on. Each puppy is very different to train, so we did think it would be a good idea to show the four puppies right from the beginning and the little problems that you come across and that everybody will come across training, whether you're experienced or a novice trainer. Back! Back. Good lad. Come on, break, break, break. Come on, good boy. Hold. No. Come on, hold. Hold. Out. Good lad. Back. Sit. Good boy. Come, come. Sit. Out. Billy, out. Away. Out. Get it right, Michael. Stay. I'm going to teach him now marking. It's uh, a retriever's credit point, uh, recognised by judges in field trials as a very important part of a uh, a Labrador Retriever's training and expertise in the shooting field and we go about teaching them to mark the way that we're going to show you. Mike and Sarah, I wondered if you could tell us a bit more about what's going to be in film four and one of the problems, Sarah, that you've been having with Philly. Yeah, Philly is a problem. She's very reluctant to do for me and I'm having to work very hard, and it shows particularly in this film with the lefts and rights. I do get there in the end, but it is just keeping on repetition, repetition, giving her a little reprimand, but not too much so that she goes completely into herself. Uh, Mike thinks it may be because I dealt too much with the steadiness with her. Um, it is a possibility, I'm not sure. Pups are now nine and a half months. They're growing very, very fast, as you can see from the film. Tendency with us all is to push on quicker than they're ready for. Slow it down at this stage. Make sure that your basics are all in place. Out! Out! Good boy. Yeah, no, 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 no. Come on, here. 
Sit up. Good lad. We're taking this floor in. Away. Good lad. Good boy. Mike, there's obviously a big difference between your two dogs, so how are you going to overcome it with training? You know what? Sometimes you never can. And I can honestly say that I've trained lots and lots of dogs, and sometimes you never, ever get what you want from them. This is Brindle Bay Towie, and I'll be showing you how I introduced the stop whistle and then going a little bit further on and putting it actually into use on a retrieve. Brindle Bay Brigand is going to be introduced today to gunfire. We'll be using a starter pistol with small blanks. I don't think I'll pick that one. I'm going to walk out and pick it myself. Stay. I mean, this film really obviously consolidates on training, so it can you can appear to be repeating things all the time. But is that really important with training a retriever? Yeah, repetition is everything. Uh, it's got to stick in. You've got to think of it as um, being a disc in a pile of CDs. And when you put them in the machine, They've got to stick in, and you may find when you get to disc 10, that disc 2, which could be sit, pops out. So you've got to go back and pop that in again. It's just repetition. Today we're going to have Brig and Towie doing a double exercise. This will entail a marked retrieve from a bumper boy, which is behind a thorn hedge. The dogs will see the bumper boy, hear it, see it land. They'll also be picking a memory retrieve at a 90 degree angle to the bumper boy. So one dog will get the marked retrieve, the other dog will get the memory retrieve, and then the situation will be reversed. And you'll watch the steadiness, which we've built into the dogs. You'll see their hunting and marking ability, and also their directional instruction that they're being told leave the mark and pick a memory. The mark being far more tempting and most dogs will want to pick that first. Aye, 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 aye. I'll send you. Sarah, would you take that mark? Yeah, take that mark out there. This morning Sarah's got Towie out and I have got Brig out and we're going to be doing a walk up. There'll be some marks thrown. We'll also incorporate some memory retrieves. They're on a ground this morning that they haven't been to apart from once this year and they were here last summer when they were very young and we did their early river training when they hadn't ever seen water before. So this is still new to them. And then we'll incorporate some water work as the final exercises. The puppies now are 13 months just, and they're coming on quite well. Stay there. Stay.
is uh, Philly, Brindle Bay Philly, and Brindle Bay Baconic. Uh, we're going to do some memory retrieves over fences to show them jumping, some control jumps as well, where we still have command of them, and I believe we're starting with a mark into some kale for something different. Four puppies in this film are from field trial champion Garrett Hall Quill of Brindle Bay and sired by field trial champion Ways Green Apollo. Did you hear a shot down there? Yep, definitely two birds down there. Would you like to take one of them? Look back. Brindle Bay Boconic and Brindle Bay Philly are on an area of low water marsh and we're going to do a walked up training session um, where dogs will be asked to pick marks and blinds. We'll be using a bang box for unseen shot with dummies in the same area as the shot blinds in an area where there is no shot and marks from a bumper boy. Watch. Mark. Wait. Back. This is Brindle Bay Baconic and Brindle Bay Towie. We're going to do some blinds here. We've got a blind along a track and then a blind out straight out into the field without any shot. We've now got a 12 bore shotgun which has a Turner Richards blank adapter into the breech that just pushes in and with that you can use the 2-2 short blanks so there's no live bullet in there, it's just powder which causes the bang. They're inserted into the breech like so and the gun is ready to fire. Would then make the bang. It's a progression from a starter pistol, which you've seen, and scrunching it up in the canvas bag so that you only get the sound rather than the crack and now the dog is getting more used to that loud bang and there's a reward at the end of it so from now on a lot of our training will be done with a shotgun with an adapter in to start giving the dogs gun sense to be looking along the barrels of a shotgun for walked up training. Brindle Bay Boconic doing some more advanced water work. No, 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 come. No, no, no. Good lad. Something over there, I think. Back. Over. Brindle Bay Philly and Brindle Bay Brigands. First introduction to Sugar Beet. Okay. I'm going to give you a first, a short mark, first introduction. The roots are short there. Last. Good lad. Sit. 
makes a great mess of these small dummies. Sit up and hold. No. 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 So The sequence of uh, film you're going to see now is a prelude to Walked Up live game in Sugar Beet from the 1st of September onwards. Um, we've got some cold pigeons and we have some rabbit skin dummies and we're using a 20 bore shotgun with live rounds and it's an introduction to get the dogs used to the increased volume of sound and get them tuned in to some powder scent which will be put into the area of the unseen retrieve which will either be a pigeon or a rabbit skin dummy and uh, Sarah's coming out first and which dogs are you bringing out? I'm bringing Towie and Philly. I'll have obviously Bo and Brig and I'll bring out Brig first um, but Sarah's going to start with... Tally. going to shop. I'm going to start again. Terry, come on. Terry, come on. Come on. <laughs> Basically badly behaved dog. Go for it. Wait. Back. Brindle Bay Brigands, Brindle Bay Towie, both on a walked up partridge day. A uh, big step for these two dogs. Uh, they haven't done this before, but we feel they're ready for it. And we're on a, a big estate in Suffolk, and we'll be spending the day walking up partridges. Uh, we're hoping to have a 50 bird day, six guns and six handlers, of which Sarah is one handler and I'm the other. Fire a shot, please. Mark, watch. Yeah, wait till Monty fires. Watch. Back. Good lad. Good lad. Dead. 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 Thank you. Thank you. 